Hello folks, the old deplorable mask case here. So a person commented on my earlier video, Corporate Influence in Politics. The person writes, I want to respond to the point you only seem to make when commenters talk about the harm being done by corporations. Okay, I've never talked to anyone about the harm being done by corporations. I talk to people about the harm being done by corporate influence in politics. That might be a minor point, it might be a major point, depending on who you're talking with and what you're talking about. Specifically, you say that any group formed together in one body is a corporation. Yeah, that's what the word means. Therefore, governments and others are also corporations. Okay, firstly, um, it's not a semantic argument. Why should you not trust a corporation? You should not trust a corporation because a corporation is composed of many individuals, and some individuals in that corporation wield a great deal of power. And the odds are, you'll never meet those individuals. You'll never know them personally. So, if, for example, I'm living in Ohio, I've never actually lived in Ohio, but I've passed through a few times, it seems a nice place, and, well, if I'm living in Ohio, there are an awful lot of people in Washington who I don't know, who I'll never meet. I'll never meet them in the streets, I'll never pass a time of day with them. But there are an awful lot of people in, in Washington who hold a great deal of power to fuck up my life. And in that sense, at least, a government is just like any other corporation, if not more so. When I see you do this, it seems to me like you're using a semantic argument to deflect away from the point being made. No! Because every time, every time I say that, the two times that I said that, it seems a little early to be saying I always make that argument, it, the whole two times that I said that, I have then gone on to address the point being made by the person I'm talking with. When people talk about things like corporate influence of politics and other such issues, it is clear which specific type of corporation we are referring to, and it's not the broad sense of the word you always seem to bring up, nor is it not for profit corporations. You are intelligent, I am sure you know that such arguments refer to the type of corporations with shareholders who elect or appoint a board of directors to control the corporation and that exists with the goal of generating profit for their shareholders. Yes, I know. You know I know. I know you know I know, because in the video you comment on, I say that! There are important differences between this type of corporation and the government. Yes, and there are also very important similarities. Such corporations, bad punctuation, and the businessmen who run them are first and foremost responsible to the shareholders. Their responsibility is to protect and increase the value of their stocks and generate profits for the corporation. Okay, you're repeating yourself. On the other hand, in a functioning democracy government, Bad grammar. Officials are responsible to the citizens who elect them, and the responsibility is to represent the interests and well-being of those constituents. No. You are wrong. If you had said, in a functioning democratic government, elected officials are responsible to the citizens who elect them. If you said, representatives are responsible to the citizens who elect them. That would be a very good point. But officials, officials, period. Okay, how many officials in the U.S. government, in the federal government, are actually elected? There's Congress, uh, there's the House of Representatives, there's the Senate, President, Vice President, that's, what, 300 people? How many people work for the federal government? How many people are officials in the federal government? Thousands? Tens of thousands? Now, um... Everyone who is not that few hundred who are elected are in the bureaucracy. And the vast majority of people in the bureaucracy answer to other people in the bureaucracy. Now, there are some people in the bureaucracy who answer to the elected officials. They are a minority. Now, there are an awful lot of people in the bureaucracy, in the corporate structure of the federal government who do not answer to the politicians, the elected, elected officials, who do not answer in any way to the people, but who have an enormous amount of power to fuck up the life of people, of individual people, of the people at large. Now, to a certain extent, this situation is unavoidable. The federal government has to deal with a great deal of important issues. We cannot have the entire federal government being elected. So to a certain extent, this situation is unavoidable. 
But to ignore that this situation exists is stupid and, well, crazy. Unfortunately, th these systems are far from perfect. Yeah. And, in fact, in the preamble of the U.S. Constitution is an open admission that there will always be room for improvement. And in the U.S., there's a great deal of corruption that interferes with the proper functioning of our democracy. I think you meant of our democracy. And so elected officials often work against the interests of their constituents and for the interests of powerful groups like large corporations and banks. Yes, powerful groups like large corporations and banks, but also like political action groups. Non-profit corporations that exist to influence politics. You're ignoring these large corporations that exist for the specific purpose of influencing politics. Do you think these corporations do less harm than business corporations? Who can fund their campaigns and offer them bribes. Even so, the citizenry has a degree of influence and control over the government because we have the ability to organize against such corporation, to run new candidates who challenge the, those corrupt leaders and replace them with different representatives. Businesses and corporations, on the other hand, are not accountable to the public and often generate profits for their shareholders while doing great harm to the public. Okay, businesses and corporations? Are we now using the word corporation in a different sense? That they are different from businesses? And usually they can prosper in this manner as bad grammar, without facing meaningful consequences for the harm they inflict. Okay. There are corporations that have the ability to do that. There are corporations that do that. You know what the problem is with that? You know what causes this problem? Not corporations. Not business corporations. Business corporations do not cause this problem. What causes this problem is corrupt politicians. Now, I talk about governments being corporations. I, I, never, I never, don't think I've ever mentioned this point before. Political parties are corporations. The Republican Party is a corporation. The Democratic Party is a corporation. Almost every politician who's ever been elected, who is now in the U.S. government, answers to those two corporations. They answer those corporations to some degree, and to all, the, perhaps not as much as they answer to the citizens who elected them, but to a great degree. So, when I say corporations, and I you and I say not all business corporate, not all corporations that influence politics are business corporations. That's a very important point. It's not something that you, you can ignore. Well, you can obviously you can ignore it, but you're crazy to ignore it. So, no, dude. Should people organize to reduce the influence of corporations in politics? Yes, they should. I say that. I have said that. So, this comment, I can't say it's pointless, because it has done something very good. I wouldn't be saying this in the way that I have said it, if you hadn't commented. So thank you for that. I, I would not, I w don't think, I have not said that, I have not made the point that political parties are corporations too. So thank you for commenting. I would not have made that point if you hadn't commented. But an awful lot of what you have to say is things I've already addressed, is things that are wrong. So, thank you for commenting. Thank you very much. You have done something very good. But I urge you, when you when you leave comments, to to think a lot, to think through, think through through what you had to say, a lot more than you seem to have done with this comment. So thank you everyone. Thank you for commenting again. Thank you everyone for watching this. Um, please like, comment, share, subscribe. Uh, please say what, what anything you, you have to say about this. I want to hear what you have to say. I want to debate this. I want to debate everything. Or maybe not everything, because, well, I have a life. Um, but that's all. Have a good day, and God bless.